Hello and welcome back to the Gifford Pincho Classic Round 1 of the FPO. This is Back 9 coverage. I'm Conrad Smith. This is my wife, Allison Smith. Hello. And we are diving right in. The ladies are <laughs> hammering drives and slamming putts. And we're going to start with hole 10. This is a big over the hill shot. It's pretty straight. There's a couple of gaps and some guardian trees over the hill. We'll see if these ladies can make it all the way to the basket or if they'll find some brush on the side. If I'm remembering, this is a, a blind hole. You cannot see the basket from... That is true. Jessica has done well and she gets a great roll. Yeah, she's over the little hill there. Not too far from the basket. She'll be around circle one. Here is Margaret Sassman. She has been tearing it up with some great form. Just really high that one and it snagged a tree. This is Donna Greist, our age protected competitor. She is tearing up some forehands. Gets that same tree. It's... The socks are for putting, not for driving. <laughs> uh -huh. Frida looks like she's playing sockless. I'm not sure if she's going to make any putts at all. Oh, you know that's not true. Oh, and right over the over hill. Over the hill. And, and her air shot went just as far as Jessica's roll got her. What a fantastic drive. And Marissa. Nice oh, wow. Got right around that, that troublesome tree. I... I swear the bark is all messed up on that tree because so many people hit it. I thought you were going to say, because you've hit it so many times. Well, it's true. <laughs> it's not all me, though. I hit all the other trees, don't worry. <laughs> and Margaret's second shot. She's hoping to get all the way to the basket with this. And it's looking Ooh. good. It's a little fade out, not too hard. Oh, that's Beautiful. And she'll be saving her par without she'll trouble. She'll be liking that when she gets over there. I don't know. That looks like it'll have a good, good shape to get around. And this hill is so steep. You still can't see the basket halfway up it. So these ladies don't know how good their drives are. Frida, the only one really... Yeah, she might be able to see from there. Yeah, she can see the basket at this point. Right and behind the tree. Right behind the tree. Of all the places you could land. <laughs> Here comes Jessica. She's got she's got a ways to go yet. This might be a little layup. There's a lot of danger in that brush behind the basket. She's gonna want to leave this short. It's oh ooh. <laughs> She'll have no trouble cleaning up her brogy. Brogy. Her brogy. Brogy oh. time. No, maybe that was her second time. I think it was, but I still liked brogy. <laughs> what do frat boys get stuck up their noses? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Brogies. Here's just Donna. Oh, I oh, thought that no. was going to be in. Looks that like Donna's going to be contending with some brogies. Oh, and it looks like we're getting a, a, a second coverage Instant of this replay. shot. Instant Yes, that was very intentional. <laughs> that was deliberate. Editing. That was deliberate. This, uh, the editor is really to be commended. Yeah. He did a great job. He just knew clairvoyantly that you wanted to see that shot again. <laughs> Here's Frida's tree. This will be for par. Oh, oh no. Frida. In the basket. You need to wear some long socks. If you're not getting this reference, stop right now. Watch the, Watch front, the front nine. Watch the front coverage. It's very important. <laughs> and Marissa. Great. Oh, beautiful putt. It looked scary there for a minute. It's going to bounce right back out. That'll be for her par. And Margaret in for her par as well. And Donna having to uh, blow her nose and clear it of brogies. 
Aww. Rogi time. Frida also in for her brogy. And here we go Ooh, one more motion. time, just catching that unfortunate cage hit. Frida is not going to be happy with all the cage hits that you slow mode <laughs> when you hit this together. And we're moving on to hole 11. This is a right turning shot blind again over a hill. You're going over the same hill you just threw over, just a slightly longer shot. And uh, you can tell that the catch cam operator overestimated just how well these ladies were playing and didn't seem to get many of their shots. Ooh, an unfortunate tree kick. That's easy to happen. This, this is a pretty narrow fairway. And this is one fairway where the brush on the side is kind of an exception. There is a lot of space you can advance on the sides. That is just a fantastic drive from Marissa. Yeah, well that was done. beautiful. That's a very touchy shot. It's very technical. Oh, look at that, too. And Donna's happy. Donna will take it. Frida's going to see if she can't do her one better. Oh, and that's golden. It's a little low, but... Just crested over that hill in just enough. She'll be able to see that basket, and she might even take a putter approach uh, just to get there cleanly and not worry about going past. This, uh, this green does not have too much trouble, but it does have a lot of rocks, and it is downhill, so you are in a little bit of danger of roll away past the basket. These ladies are going to have to keep that in mind as they make their second shots. I take a drink and it's like, oh. And you can see uh, she she tried to advance. She got a little kick. I think this will be for Margaret's third shot. Yeah, she was off the fairway at some point. She's going to try and flex it around these trees. Will it hold? Oh, God. It will. Oh, <laughs> grabbing the last tree. I, I blame that on the tree. The tree got in the way. Yeah, she it's might have had way. that one. That looked like it was heading for chains. And here's Donna. This is her drive. Oh, I'd be happy with this drive all day. Just a light touch shot. Get a rock, and you can see it's rolling, but she threw it light enough. She didn't have to worry about the roll. And here's... It looks like a rhino. Uh, maybe some sort Ooh, of thing. Zooping around. It's kind of went out a little wide. Unfortunate kick. I'm sure she would have preferred to kick to the other direction. <laughs> it's that circles hitting circles. That's discs. Discs are circles. Uh, Trees are also circles. You lost me on that one. Yeah. I, I was like, circles? Jessica? Not sure my wife ever took calculus. I actually, I didn't. I took pre -cal. You know, I never took calculus either. <laughs> and this is why we're not good at math or physics. I don't think you need calculus for physics. I honestly don't know. I Marissa might have needed calculus to get that put in there, though. I think I think she's gonna be settling. Oh, oh, oh Frida so just close. hit the chains. She's done that a couple times where she could have could have been in, but it was just not meant to be. You have to be very careful of your footing out here. You can't remove any rocks that are solidly in the ground, but if it's detached, you can move it out from under your feet. And Jessica, that was her third shot. She's going to have to settle for bogey. Margaret for bogey save. And she's in. She'll take her nice four. And she'll move on from that unfortunate drive. And here comes Marissa. She uh, just missed her putt for birdie. I forgot how fantastic her drive is. She's going to try and clean this up to get a par and a stroke on the card. Let's see. 
Well done. Nice job. Yeah. She yeah. does a really good job just taking her time and... Jessica for bogey. Donna are going to tap in their putts, and we're going to start talking about hole 12, which is a straight shot with just a, a slight finish to the right. I think it's about 180, 200 feet. There is a Mando to the right, but let's watch this putt again. Delicious. A little bit of wobble, but she's happy with that. And here there's a Mando on your right. You must go left of it, but your disc needs to finish to the right. For those of you who haven't been to the course lately, the old Mando tree was taken down and uh, we had to install a new tree. That's not true. We took an old tree and just made it a new Mando. It does change oh, the I I I Well, not for me. <laughs> I'm still happy with a par on this hole. Every time I, I throw my putter here, I say, you're understable, and it still finishes left. <laughs> Great shot for four-handers. Jessica just getting a little uh, too much on it. Yeah, actually, the tree might have helped get her around that. Yeah. She's throwing some of that new end of a halo plastic. That plastic just looks beautiful. And here's Margaret. Oh, if it weren't for that tree, that looked like it was headed straight <laughs> for the chance. It was a nice drive, yeah. Just gorgeous. Here's Frida showing us the forehand line. It's going to flex out. Oh, perfect. She even went around the old Mando tree, too. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and Frida looks like she'll be tapping in a birdie. She's probably already thinking about hole 13. Our ladies still have work to do. And Donna for two. It's good. Nope. No, nope. just short. An excellent effort. That and Heiser putts a valuable skill. <laughs> I am sure it is. I wish I had one. <laughs> Jessica oh. for her second, just a little while. I was say she got a she got a gorilla arm. Just really went past. Margaret's second shot. Come on! Oh, oh. just That's a basket a hit. Here's Marissa, her second birdie attempt in two holes. She's got to be feeling good about this now. Yeah. And she oh. slams it. Now that's a nice putt. I'm going to give her 25 feet on that, you think? Yeah, at least. Here's Frida for two. She's got a 15-footer. And I no sweat. Nicely done. If that feels good after some of her bounce outs. And, and Jessica with some work to do just to save her par. I'm sure she's not happy about this. Oh. And those high left chains have struck again. You really want to at that distance see if you can be hitting the center pole or low left. Uh, on those chains. That's where the basket grabs best. Yeah, it's hard not to get discouraged after that happens a couple times. Let's you know? see this form. What a rip! <laughs> My gosh. Oh, no. right, we're on 13. We're gonna pot us in 13 a is a dog leg left, but there's two mandatories. You must go between them. And I think it's, it's probably only a 10, 12 foot wide window. It's a small window. This is gets in my head every time. Freed is just going to oh, throw no. a roller. She's not even going to contend with the double mando. Donna also making the mandos. 
she's gonna have some trouble to contend with on the right in that brush. There's Margaret. Oh, an excellent shot. Just threaded the mandatories. Sadly, it wasn't quite far enough and it hugged the left. It might have grabbed some brush. Really, if you can just get up through the mandos. Do you try to get through the mandos? You do? I try to get up to the mandos. Sometimes that's I'm easier. Yeah. yeah. But you, if you can just get up there, it makes the whole hole a lot easier. Yeah, then, then from, you can see the little drop zone right there is that piece of concrete. And yeah, uh, I, I thought Margaret's drive, it must have caught a tree. So now she hasn't passed the mandos, she has to, she still has to play through them. She's going to try a roller. And uh, she hit the tree right there. So she's through the mando, but she has not advanced. So like here, I'm not really uh, sure where her this ended up. Yeah, it's you just behind that tree. You can't yeah. quite see it. <clears throat> yeah, that's where I kind of I kind of just try to get to the drop zone here without you know missing the mandos. Yeah, now because Marissa missed the mando, she's gonna have to take an extra stroke penalty. Yep. But oh, that is a great shot. Nice yeah. and high. It's going to be able to get... Oh, it just caught a tree. This is a very protected basket. It's hard to get in there without grabbing a branch. And we're going to see Margaret's roller. It's right there. She did not advance far. This hole can really catch you and add strokes quick. The brush is very thick, and she has caught a guardian. Yeah. I was just going to say how different this course is to play in the summer, but sometimes, you know, some of these trees are just as bad in winter. And it's worth mentioning at this point, Frida with an excellent upshot. She's still going to have a long downhill putt to contend with, but it's worth mentioning at this point we're moving towards the 11 o'clock hour. It's approaching 90 degrees. These ladies are getting tired. It's only round one. They still have another round yet to play today, oh and uh, it, it was a hot one. If the brightness of that shot reflected the heat, it would be accurate. <laughs> It looks really beautiful, but that day was, it was muggy. It was bad. The humidity was high, too. I was glad to be on the camera and not on the tee. <laughs> and uh, I believe that was Jessica's second shot. It might have been her third. This is Margaret for four. That's Marissa. Uh, Marissa for four. Sorry about that. She'll be able to clean up her double bogey. That Mando really did a number on her scorecard. Here's Frida for this her is par. This three, right? Yeah. Let's see. She's been hit or miss. Oh! oh. <laughs> Oh, that was lucky. Frida grabbing a three. We'll see how many strokes that means on the card. Yeah, this is uh, a good catch-up opportunity for anybody. Oh, and that was Margaret's bogey save. We'll have to see if she can put it in for double. That's two strokes that Frida's grabbing on Margaret. Mm -hmm. It helps sometimes when you have those mandos, just play clean. Oh, oh no. And unfortunately with the camera, we didn't get to see if she took her time on that one. It's tough. It's getting hot. They're getting tired. It's near the end of the round. But there's still a lot of golf to be played. It takes a lot of patience and endurance. Marissa's in for a double bogey as well. And Jessica just for her single bogey. That was a rough uh, 
rough hole. Oh, Let's good. see this putt got again. Slow mo of this. I'd take this putt any day. It's just gonna scrape. And there it is. <laughs> oh, that was. By the hair on my chinny chin chin that my electric razor did not get. <laughs> 14 is another blind hole, tight fairway. There's a lot of danger on the sides here. And Frida has caught a tree. Oh, she's not. She's just landed pretty safe there. Yeah. She'll be able to see, see the basket. Excuse me. Nice drive from Donna as well. Uh, over. I think Donna and Frida are just having a nice walk in the park. Yeah. Here. <laughs> They're making quick work of this back nine. Here comes Jessica. Let's see if she can bounce back from her bogey. And she looks okay with it. Maybe still a little frustrated from the previous hole. Yeah. Larissa trying to bounce back from a double bogey. And it looks like she's gotten a ways up there. We'll see if she can make any of that drive. <laughs> that was a great tree kick. <laughs> she's happy with the tree kick. Sometimes <laughs> those trees love you. Nice form, but it might have been a little low. Yeah, there's a lot of danger over to the left. There's a down tree that you have to navigate, and I think Margaret has found it. Yeah, she's walking to the side. And there's just nothing fun over here. She's going to have to see if she can navigate some of these trees and find an angle. The basket is on a slight hill, so there is a danger of going long and finding the trees back there. How does she do? A decent second shot. I think she'll be in the circle, but I think she'll have some work to do. It yeah, looks it'll like, be a scary putt. <laughs> looks like Jessica has found that down tree as well. Advanced a little further. But she's got a choice to make. She did not advance as far as she had hoped. This will be for three. This is a dangerous, it looks like she's just going to try and get up. Yeah. And she's gone sadly long. That's going to be a 20 footer uphill for bogey and that is a tough putt. Marissa trying to decide exactly how she wants to approach this. She might have taken into consideration how far Jessica just went, changed her disc plan, see if she has something that can grab a little sooner. Oh wow, it was a good choice, <laughs> whatever she changed. Yeah, and it looks like, uh, oh, here comes Donna. Oh. Her second shot just grabbing a tree. She should be able to clean up that par. Yeah. Camera angle there. I almost thought she was hitting the basket. But... Well, Frida's gone a little long, but I think from that distance, she's been pretty deadly. I think she'll be sinking this spot. She certainly has a chance to. This is Margaret's third shot. She's outside the circle. This is a long, scary putt. She really needs this to get some momentum going. Oh, and another was, basket hit. I, I think know. this is the third or fourth from her round. Yeah. It's always so uh, discouraging just to see it. It's good, 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 good bounce. Not good. <laughs> and they say it's a game of inches, and you got to find the small wins. You know, if you can celebrate that you hit the basket that many times, it's going to keep you coming out. And I think that that's the most important part. Oh, and again, just, you know, we call these metal hits, and these metal hits, you know, you feel like they should have gone in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it feels like uh, unfair. But uh, 
That's part of the game. This is when uh, I really love the disc golf community, you know, because if I'm playing with Frida and if I'm missing like this and Frida's slamming putts like this. Oh, that was a slam, too. That'll be in for par for Frida. But, it, it you know, Frida's just such a wonderful person to play with. Uh, Donna, I haven't played with these other ladies, but they're so encouraging, you know, when you're missing putts. They're telling you, you know, come back out next week. Your putts are going to start going in. This happens to everyone. It's it's really helpful. And uh, the disc golf community, I think, is second to none. Absolutely. I, Frida is actually the first uh, person besides you that I've played with. And she was so patient with me as I uh, played really terribly at the one I school. Always kind. Oh boy. Hole 15. The 15, we've gone back to some nice, straightforward uh, righty backhand hyzers. This is actually my favorite hole. Let's see if these ladies can get a shot up there. Unfortunately, low for oh, Marissa. Some skip action. It's going to be really tempting for her to advance there. It looks like you can make it, and there are a couple windows, but we'll see if she can get her disc to find one. Donna is doing the Anheuser. Oh. Finding a tree. That's the danger of that Anheuser flick shot. You need a lot of space for it to fly, and you can hit a tree wide early yourself with 150 feet left to go. Oh, I think she hit the same tree. Uh, Margaret on the opposite side oh, of Donna, but she'll uh, she'll have an easy upshot, I think. Oh no! And you know, even from the catch cam, I saw that one, and I knew that shot was coming. And you hate to see it. You just hate to see it. That disc. I think it took uh, a couple of minutes to find. Um, this happens to the best of them. Uh, so when you're out there, if you're feeling discouraged because you're finding the woods, here's just a great example. You know, you are not alone. And Jessica put together a good round. So. Donna for her second shot. High on the hill. It's going to be a challenging downhill putt. And this is where uh, Jessica found. She got out just to about the edge of the woods. It's pretty hard to see there. Okay. Um, but she does a great shot, a great job of uh, not blowing up after that shot. Where's Margaret's second? Yeah, she has a little distance to cover. A nice shape. Oh, and that would be a is. very nice cut. She might be able to reach out with her arm, just drop that one in. That'll <laughs> feel real good on a hot day like this. Frida's second shot. She'll have just a slight uphill putt. But she's not too far from the basket. So she won't have too much trouble in that. Uh, and here is uh, Marissa. She's going to try and advance, it looks like. And she takes the wide route. Ooh. Nice. Get oh, wow. That couldn't have gone better, really. And yeah, she will be rewarded for that. Here is for three from Jessica. Oh. And that's that was a very downhill putt. Very scary. There was she a went lot of for risk it, in that. that was, she really put her heart into it. It was a bold move. Sometimes you need that. Sometimes you gotta give it a chance. Here's Donna. Oh! oh! No 
change wow. required. Sign sealed delivered. That was a heck of a butt. And Margaret, Margaret? for three. That's oh. everybody for three except Jessica. Oh. And she airballs it. She's getting frustrated. Probably overheated too. And a string of bogeys, and that'll get inside your head. It really yeah. will. Frida for three. Grab the little top band there. You know, not the cleanest putt Frida's ever had, but. Uh, <laughs> but she still gets it in. She's holding it together. <laughs> And Marissa will clean up her three as well. So everybody taking pars, but Jessica losing two strokes to the card on this. Let's see this putt again. No fear at all. Right in the basket. <laughs> oh, I love the Fist pump. <laughs> well done. <laughs> there it is. Hole 16 is going to be a long uphill righty backhand hyzer. And it's got a pretty big fairway, but this is a very long distance. Uh, I, let's see, I think I have it here actually. 340 feet. That, that is going to be out of the range, I think, of all of these ladies. Um, and with the uphill, you know, it probably plays something like 370. Um, which is a, a pretty full shot. Uh, Donna, fresh off that amazing putt, has just hammered a drive up there. She's happy. Yeah, she's you see that little place. hop. <laughs> oh. Just grab those leaves and branches on the side. She'll have a comfy approach though. She'll be in the middle of the fairway. True. Jessica trying to end her bogey streak. She's put it a little low but she's in the center. I think she's going to do well with that. That's true. Being in the center actually makes a big difference in, the, in this whole, probably in this whole course. Yeah. Having clear upshots is really going to make your life a lot easier. You know, if if you can add 30 feet, but you lose that accuracy, it can bring bogey into play, double bogey for some of these ladies. Sometimes, you know, when you look at Frida's game, she's throwing 150 feet, 200 feet. She's not trying to get there. She's just trying to get into a position where she's comfortable. And it's working out well for her. She's a smart player like that. And it comes from five years of championships of <laughs> experience. She's really shown us how to do it. Jessica's second shot. She finds the edge of the fairway. She's going to have a long approach for three. I, I think that that's going to bring bogey into play. Frida trying to get the rest of the way up there. I think she's still looking at 150 feet. Making a disc change, maybe. Uh, I think maybe she's just clearing her her cart out of her way. And a beautiful upshot. Oh, that, that works well. She'll have 25 feet for a putt, though. Hey, yeah. she could do it. <laughs> I, I, it's a long putt. It is. It is. <laughs> I wouldn't blame her. It's, I'll still be her friend if she misses that putt. No pressure, Frida. Have whatever kind of putt you have. Margaret has almost the same shot. And it looked like maybe she hit a branch early. Kicked off to the right at the end. She's still going to have work to do and brush in her way. And there's that Marissa in the, in the brush over there. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not sure she's going to be able to get all the way up from here. I 
It looks like she's got plenty of room to swing, which is impressive. You know, her disc must have been very nice to her finding the, just the right place to settle down. Right. And glad to see Jessica smiling. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been a tough day, but she's got great spirits. Oh, nice. There's Donna's second shot. She's just really killing it on these back nine. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> hitting record. Yes, yes. Just in case anyone's wondering, Donna gives lessons. <laughs> oh, an no. excellent upshot. Wow, she will have no trouble with that whatsoever. And here's Margaret. This is for her third shot. Unfortunately, she kicked off to the right. Looks like she's going to have space to swing her arm. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't look like she has the window she wants. And she's gone a little long. Still, that was a hard out. I hope she's got it. I'm not sure if she was going for the basket, but if that was her landing zone, that was a smart play. She'll have a clear shot at her uh, bogey. And a great oh, nice. one from Jessica. Well done. Here comes Margaret for bogey. That was a good run. Frida's second shot. Looks like she's got 25, maybe even this 30 is her feet. Third. third shot, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> her will still be friends if she misses a shot. Yeah. And a little uh, low. Just, just a little bit. You have to wonder if uh, her last putt being a little high got into her mind. Mm. Um, Overcorrected a little bit. Yeah. That'll happen to the best of us. And neither of us are the best of us. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I Honestly, I can't even remember the last time I played this hole because sometimes I give up before I get there. <laughs> And Margaret is going to be cleaning up her double bogey. An unfortunate turn after a pretty half-decent drive. And Frida cleaning her bogey up, trying to stem the bleeding. Yeah, this was a rough one. There's some distance on this one, though, so... You got to think if uh, a 340 uphill shot... Uh, for these ladies, a, a four is a good number. Um, I think they're all very happy with it. Uh, who wouldn't want a three? But let's see that hat tip again. Thank you very much, Donna. <laughs> oh, I wasn't hitting <laughs> We're here all week, too. We're going to be moving on to 17, which is a blind shot. And uh, 210 feet. Just a little. Uh, it's a straight shot, actually. It's tempting to think that it moves left, um, and it's a pretty straight shot. And uh, we'll see. Donna almost got there, but maybe Frida can show us the way. She's up in the air. If this can flex out, it's good. And she catches a tree. Still, not. She's pretty close to the basket. Maybe we'll see some birdies, some green back on the scorecard. And Marissa. Oh, that was nice. Just piped. She's gone long. She was trying to ace that hole. <laughs> and uh, it's been done out here. I think we have a couple of aces on 17 in the local club. Jessica getting an unfortunate kick into the prison to the left. And she's not happy with that, rightly so. Margaret 
coming in. Should we left? But oh, that was awesome. I think we're staring down another birdie from Margaret. She has been finding these lines, and her uh, her mental game in the putting has been very good. Yeah, especially having a couple of rough holes. She just came back from it. Here's Donna. Nice yeah, layup. Excellent upshot. And we're going to see Jessica. I think uh, from where she is, she can give it a run. I think in her mind, she's certainly going to try to. She might as well. Oh, that, that'll well, set her up nice. That'll tap in for a par. You know, you don't want to lose any more strokes than you have to by getting aggressive. So she's going to try and I think she's going to try and finish up the course without giving up any more strokes. And see what she can make happen the second round. Frida's trying to find her footing here. Can be difficult at Boulder Woods. Ah! And Frida in for two. I love watching her putts. They're so <laughs> suspenseful. <laughs> Maybe with the tallest putt in recorded history. <laughs> I think uh, in her mind, she pictured the Empire State Building between her and the basket. If you're familiar with Calvin Heinberg, he likes to cover the basket. I think Frida imagines uh, a very tall building she just tries to throw it over. Gets her the distance, so whatever works, you know. And Marissa for two. An excellent oh. attempt. It was a good putt. It just hit the basket. And that was a nice putt, too. Margaret is in a, for two. That was a birdie. It's unfortunate to see. You know, these ladies have hit the cage a, a great deal, and I think the scores are just not representative of their talent. They have been hitting the basket and the rim and just doing a fantastic job. Um, yeah, the, they're good players, every one of them. Sometimes it's just the day. It's not like... Uh, you know, these ladies, it's just one of them. <laughs> nice. All of them are, are kind of grabbing that medal. And I think it's just demonstrative. What a fun word. Yeah, I was going to say, you went for, <laughs> went for a big one there. <laughs> Over on hole 18, that, this is my favorite. Mostly because it's uh, not that long. 230 feet. Another righty backhand hyzer, if you can find the window. Frida showing us that flick flex. Yeah, she'll be in good shape. Here comes Margaret. She has really enjoyed that hyzer. I think she's going to take it again. And as long as you can avoid the trees on this hole. And she's on the green. Yeah. I believe that is edge. circle one. What a great drive. Well done, Margaret. Donna just hammering a forehand. Looks like that kick to the camera left, her right. And Melissa, she's got the height. I don't gotta worry about the tree branches at that point. Maybe she she navigated through it and she's just on the early side of that circle. And Jessica looking to see if she can get there. She is passed. Yeah, that was <laughs> there was a lot of power on that. That drive was smoking. I I have never gotten that far. Props <laughs> to you, Jessica. And if you're ever in Harrisburg, I will take a forehand lesson, please. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's evolved. The game has really evolved. Having that forehand and backhand can just be invaluable on this course. Every time they try to challenge you with an Anheuser line, you can just pull out the opposite shot. As demonstrated right there by Donna. 
And Frida, she's looking for a birdie on 18. Can she do it? I'm not looking at the scorecard. Oh, <laughs> there nice you go, Frida. Spot. That was amazing. Finishing with a birdie. That's a great way to finish your round. It's a great way to go into Quaker's Challenge. Yeah. Best of luck to you, Frida. And stay hydrated. Yeah. Come Henry on, agrees. <laughs> <laughs> For those who weren't here on our first round coverage, this is Henry the Cat. He doesn't like Quaker's Challenge, so when I, I mentioned it, he, uh, he came in just to let us know that he thinks no one should play Quaker's Challenge. <laughs> Too many hills, and it was too hot that day. Way too hot. Special thank you to my cameraman, Michaela Brown and Morgan Fike, for battling the heat. Good shot, Marissa. You'll be in for par. No trouble. No trouble at all. Sorry. Was that Marissa? That, I, no, that's That Marissa. was Jessica. I, yeah. I'm sorry. This is Marissa. It's hard to see through the trees. And Marissa has gone unfortunately long on her birdie putt. <laughs> Henry. Henry has a lot to say about this last last hole. And Margaret for her birdie through the trees. This is going to be tight. It looks like there's something in her her way of her swing. And oh. another metal hit for Margaret. Oh, just heartbreaking. Those pots are going to start dropping, and she is going to be hard to catch. Yeah, absolutely. Here's Marissa for her third. Another unfortunate metal hit. You gotta imagine they're all exhausted by this point. They are ready to move on. Excellent putt, Donna. Nice way to finish. Good job, ladies. Thank you for letting us come out and cover this. We wish you best of luck on round two. Thank you to Morgan and Michaela, to the Boulder Woods Llamas for letting us come out. Let's see this putt again. And... Oh, boy, <laughs> that so looks cute. good. Just grabbing the last edge. That's a that's a far putt, too. That is a long putt, ladies and gentlemen. You got to practice every day to trust <laughs> in those. And we have the ladies settling the score. Um, spoiler alert. This happened a week ago, so we do know Frida the Champ Eberly took down her sixth Gifford Pinchot Classic win in the Women's Open Division. Special congratulations to her, to Bob, her husband. Thank you guys all for letting us come out. We hope that you at home enjoyed the coverage and that we will see you again soon. Until then, keep throwing those discs, keep grabbing that metal, and sinking those putts. Goodbye. <laughs>